right, here we go, guys. Core workout today with the bells. You need a pair of heavier bells. I'm using 24 kilos each. Those are the green bells, and I got a 12 kilo, a lighter bell off to the side. That would normally be a warm-up bell, but today it's going to serve for some ab work. And how we're going to start this off is by doing three windmills, overhead windmill. And on the third rep, just go ahead and leave the bell up there and transition into a reverse Turkish getup where you start at the top and then make your way down then finish by rising up. So it's a reverse style Turkish getup. You're gonna start with three windmills and connect a reverse getup to that situation. Change sides after the getup. Get the bell up over the head, snatch it, clean and press it anyways, okay. And then start the other side. You gotta do three windmills to start us off. And then we're gonna connect a reverse getup at the end of the third rep. Bingo, there's three. Just leave the bell up there and start the down phase of the Turkish getup. All the same tension, speed, and mechanics apply as you would do a normal Turkish getup. It's a cool way to start incorporating both the getup and the windmill together in the same drill. Okay, once you've completed that on each side, grab the lighter bell, which for some of us is just a warm-up bell. I got a 12 kilogram here, that's 25 pounds. And we're going to do the V up. It's one of my favorite floor exercises, old school classic. You can do them with two legs. You can do them with just one leg. Uh, you can use just a sit up variation if you need to. And we're going to bang out 10 reps here on, this, on the full V up. I'm using the bell to my advantage to kind of balance me out here. Finish strong, 10 reps. And we're done with that. Now we're going to come back to the 24 kilo bells. We got single leg deadlift, five reps per leg. I like to set up with a foot right in between the bells and start from the floor like that. We're gonna do five reps on each leg, slow on the way down, touch the ground, and then rise up and tap the second foot when you get to the very top. Single leg lift, tap the second leg when you get to the very top. Five reps on the other side. one of the more difficult lower body core exercises. In fact, I probably should be in, in any trainer's top three if you're talking about lower body core exercises. Boom. From there, transition to the renegade row. Going right from the deadlift to the plank. Pounding out some pushing and some pulling. Alternate sides. Five reps per side. This is a planked row, so all the mechanics of a plank apply. Packing your shoulders, not moving your head, and pull those 24 kilo bells up to your side. Nice job. Repeat that circuit for three to five rounds for a full workout. If you are enjoying the unconventional fitness content here on YouTube, I invite you to check out what we have going on over at our website and online fitness training platform, lbkclub.com. This is where you will find dozens of full follow along workouts, detailed instruction, programming, ranking charts, progress checks that I mentioned you're going to get me as a coach guiding you through this program. This is the exact same program I use for my students at Long Beach Kettlebell Club, one of America's oldest and most successful kettlebell clubs. You can get the same workouts and same benefits we have been getting out here in Long Beach for over a decade. You won't find this program anywhere else online because we made it through our own trial, error, sweat, and tears out here in Long Beach. 60 bucks a month, full access. We look forward to lifting with you.